Hello everyone, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwill. Over there is John Lewandowski. And we are from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwill, your host. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker 202, West Yard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Um, need your skates sharpened? Because, you know, we're going to be needing them fairly soon with how cold it's going to be here. Mm-hmm. It's going to be our only mode of transportation. <laughs> um, call uh, Hockey Locker. But uh, let's get into why we're here today. Um, we do have a triple. Before we get into that, I said that we were going to do in the system this weekend at some point. Well, that is not going to happen as some things that have happened that we did not foresee happening and they're causing minor glitches. So, at this point, I will turn it over to John for stats in the first game and the first period scoring. All right. Today, the Nashville Predators took on the New York Islanders. Shots on goal in the first period. New York outshoots Nashville 9-7. to seven. In the second, New York outshoots Nashville ten to six. In the third, Nashville outshoots New York fifteen to six. And total, Nashville outshoots New York twenty eight to twenty five. On the faceoff circle, Nashville's better at fifty one percent to New York's forty nine percent. On the power play, New York went zero for two with six penalty minutes, while Nashville went one for three with four penalty minutes. <clears throat> New York had 28 hits to Nashville's 21. New York had 25 blocked shots to Nashville's 23. Nashville had 19 giveaways to New York's 18. And New York had 13 takeaways to Nashville's 12. Uh, Scoring in the first period, nothing. Scoring in the second period, nothing. (laughs) So we get to the third period, and at the 12-minute mark for New York, Pegu gets on the board with his fifth, assisted by Dobson, his 37th, and Clutterbuck, his ninth. And that will do it for the Islanders scoring as Luke Evangelista at the 15.08 mark gets a wrist shot off on the power play. Uh, His eighth with an assist from Brian McDonough and... Philip Tomasito, um, the McDonough's 10th, Tomasito's 12th assists. Um, then at the 1952 mark, Alexander Carrier takes the lead with a deflection. And by deflection, I mean he <laughs> shot the puck at the dude's stick, snapped it, and it went in the net. Yeah. Uh, We're not talking about the stick. We're talking about the puck. All oh, the stick came awful close to the net. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and Yusuf Parson nails one with zero point two left on the clock. Mm-hmm. Um, his eighth with an assist from Yossi, his twenty-eighth. Also, Carrier's assists were from Lausanne, his third, and Forsberg, his twenty-six. The Preds beat the Islanders three to one. This is kind of one of them wonky games where the men are separated from the men and this young group needs to step up and they needed to win back to back after yesterday's 6-3 win. I was a little worried maybe they didn't have a little anything left so Um, three stars of the game third star of the game was Luke Evangelista with a goal Uh, Alexander Carrier with a game winning goal and UC Saros with one goal against uh, stopping statistics. I need statistics. Stopping 25, 24 of 25 with a point nine six zero save percentage. In for the Islanders is Shirokin. Uh, Shiroken played very well for them. I take nothing away from what the Islanders did out there. Um, it was like being pulled, this game was being played in quicksand. Yeah. Um, 
Shiroh can stop 25 of 27 with a 0.926 save percentage. Um, Preds win their second in a row. Um, the Preds really need to like figure out where they want to be. Um, cause right now it's 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 <laughs> the rest of the division is running away from them and they're going in separate directions and they're just stuck in the middle. Yeah. You, they're not bad enough to miss the playoffs. They're not good enough to stay in them. As it sits, if the playoffs ended today, Nashville would be in. It would be them in Edmonton. But anybody can take it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> there's two games in hand from St. Louis and Arizona, both who have 34 points. The Preds have 49, so the difference there is five with two games, which the points is four, which would mean that they'd still be in, but uh, it, it would be rough. Um where um, Seattle could take it unless Seattle having a better record. Um, if they took the one win, then the two points would push the Preds down. And if Edmonton takes their what looks to be eight points, the Preds could miss the playoffs by one point or a tie. But enough with that. Since John had a long list of reading off, and there's going to be a lot to read in this game, I got you covered. Okay. For the second <laughs> night in the row, the Milwaukee Admirals take on the Henderson Silver Knights. The um, this is their second meeting all time. Um, the Henderson Silver Knights, formerly known as the San Antonio Rampage. Um. In the first period, Henderson outshoots Milwaukee thirteen to nine. In the second period, Milwaukee outshoots Henderson eleven to three, and they had eight apiece in the third. Milwaukee went zero for two on the power play, while Henderson went zero for five. Um, penalty minutes were ten minutes for Milwaukee with five infractions, while Henderson had fourteen with three infractions. Um, Milwaukee's were all from minors. Um, however, for Henderson, um, Mason Gertson to, gets a game misconduct for leaving the bench. Whatever that is. Probably during a scuffle. Um, so, I will take it. Yeah, I'm gonna... <laughs> All right. Scoring in the first at the 648 mark was Jasper Weatherby with his fifth with an assist from the captain, Kevin Graval, his fourth, and Liam Foudy, his second. Mr. Happy. Mm -hmm. 1153 on the clock, and it's Zach LaRue, Mr. Happy. His mm -hmm. eighth on the year with an assist from Roland McEwen, his eighth, and Spedor Svenskov, his 11th. All right, scoring in the second at the 9.38 mark was Jordan Gross scoring his fourth, assisted by Mark Jankowski, his 24th, and Igor Afanasiev, his 11th. Then at the 14.23 mark, Mark Jankowski scores his ninth with an assist from Igor Afanasiev, his 12th, and Zachary LaRue, his 14th. Then at the 17.26 mark, Igor Afanasyev scores his 16th, assisted by Mark Jankowski, his 25th, and Jake Livingstone, his 10th. Then in the third period at the 425 mark, Jasper Weatherby scores his 6th of the year, assisted by Anthony Angelo, his 7th. Then at the 1429 mark, shorthanded Mark Jankowski scores his 10th of the year, assisted by Zachary LaRue, his 15th, and Kevin Gravel, his 5th. Admirals shut 
out Henderson all weekend long with a 7 nothing swat to Henderson. Um, in net to start the game was Jasper Vikman. Uh, Vikman stopped 14 of 18. Um, and 35 minutes, 52 seconds of work with 23 minutes, 56 seconds of work. Uh, Jordan Paperni st stopped seven of 10. So he had three goals against, well, the other goal he had both. In net for your Milwaukee Admirals is Troy Grosnick, Brookfield native, stopping 24 of 24. Um, most of you may actually be surprised, but Frank, or uh, Fred Brathway is the goaltending coach for um, Henderson. He used to be a backup goalie for Anton Hudobin and with the Houston Arrows back in the day. See, can it's not even us that I know stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Attendance at the Dollar Loan Center was 4,424. The Admirals are undefeated in the year 2024 so far. With that being said, well, where do we sit in the standings? In first. We sit in first. In our last 10, we are 9-1. and one. Um, We are currently riding a five-game win streak, while Texas has lost two straight, losing both games against the Wolves. They come into town next Friday and Saturday. Come on out and check it out. Um, the Admirals have a t-shirt package if you buy a ticket and a t-shirt combo um, for the game on the 19th. Uh, do we have anything the next day? The 20th? Yeah, Badger Band Night and the Teddy Bear Toss, I believe. Yes. Double checking. Okay. Uh, schedule. Promo schedule. Ice scrapers on the 19th as well. The first 3,000 fans will get ice scrapers courtesy of Landmark Credit Union. Um... Also, Ian's Pizza, student night, students uh, from high school and college get a ticket and a slice of Ian's Pizza for just 13 bucks must present student ID. Um, there's also the um, Harley Davidson Museum ticket package for just 25 bucks. You can go to the Ambrose game and um, get a uh, ticket to the Harley Museum. Uh, it is a light blue ticket, so it's the cheapest one they offer. It's also autographed quarter night, so there's going to be a guy over there in the corner signing an autograph. And just for 22 bucks, just think about it. It's so far away, but it looks so good. There's the Wisconsin State Fair. Warm weather. Warm mm -hmm. uh, Yes, you can buy a fair deal. The fair deals are back. Um, $22, you can get Wisconsin State Fair ticket and an Ambrose ticket. With a top of all of that, the Motorsports Night, Luke Fedhouse and Ty Majeski, both of these guys are very good people. I have met both of them. They're wonderful human beings. Um, I'm looking forward to this. I'm just, I'm, I'm as happy as can be when it comes to that. Um, and then the next night is the UW Marching Band and Teddy Bear Toss. You are correct. After that, we got the 24th, where it's Salute to Pickleball. And the first 2,500 fans will take home a, a Admiral's Pickleball t-shirt, apparently. Uh -huh. It is the Fomac logo from what it looks like. And it's also an autographed corner. And it's a winning weekday. And then the next weekend, we got Tesla. With Ian's Pizza. And then uh, the 30th, we have Hockey is for Everyone night. With an autograph quarter and a winning weekday. There's a lot of hockey to come in January just yet. 
the Admirals are red hot right now and doing very well. Yeah. So come on out and get loud for them. Um, to top all that off, our final part of our show, the Atlanta Gladiators. <clears throat> All right, so today the Atlantic Gladiators take on the Trey River Lions. Uh, shots on goal in the first period. Atlanta outshoots Trey Rivers 11-5. to In the second, Trey Rivers outshoots Atlanta 17-6. to In the third, Trey River outshoots Atlanta 12-9. to And in total, Trey Rivers outshoots Atlanta 34-26. to now, Atlanta goes two for five on the power play with 15 minutes, six infractions, while Trey Rivers goes one for five with 25 minutes, seven infractions. Scoring in the first period was nothing. Scoring in the second period for Trey River at the 459 mark was Alex Oliver Boyer, assisted by Cedric Montmany and Chris Jandrick. Then at the 11-14 mark, Atlanta scores with a goal from Cody Sylvester, assisted by Jack Matier and Luke Prokop. Then at the 13-14 mark, Justin Darshman uh, scores with an assist from Nolan Yarmanko ah, and Chris Ortiz. Uh, then uh, Jacob no Novak scores with an assist from Chris Ortiz and Matthew Butch Butcher. That'll do it for the second. In the third, Nolan Yarmanko scores with an assist from Matthew Butcher and J Jacob Novak. Um, then at the 1706 mark, Atlanta scores with a goal from Jackson Pearson with an assist from Cody Sylvester and Ryan uh, Cranford. Then at the uh, 1850 mark, Justin Darkswood scores with an assist from Jack Novak and Corey Thomas. Oh. And that will do it for that. In, in net for the Trey Rivers Lions is Zachary Bouthier. He stopped uh, 92.3% of his shots. Um, in net for Atlanta was... Brad Barone, he stopped 87.8% of his shots. So that'll do it for that. Um, Atlanta loses 5-2. to two. I'm not going to go any further into any of that stuff. Um, we are, as we are running out of streaming time today. Um... In other note, me and John will be at the Admirals game, well, like I said, on the Friday. I'm looking forward to seeing that, how that all works out for the Admirals. Yeah. Very excited to move forward with that. I'm also looking forward to being back and being healthy. Oof. All right. <laughs> That's been a, a struggle this year. So. Yes, it has. Like I'm, I'm used to having struggles, not like this. Right. Uh, so we have a show for you guys tomorrow. Um, it's a single show. Uh, the uh, Predators versus, or it's not tomorrow. It's Monday. Uh, Vegas Predators versus Vegas on Monday. So see y'all then and enjoy.